Most people would just pick up a packet of crisps, they'd open them, they'd eat them and they'd be gone. And they wouldn't think about the complexity that's gone into developing that snack. My name is Patrick Clifford. I'm a principal R&D chef for PepsiCo and I will work in our global early stage innovation and culinary group. I'm a classically trained chef. I've spent numerous years in, in restaurants around the world, up to two star Michelin level. You go from feeding 30, 40 people in a restaurant, maybe a little bit more depending on the style of restaurant, to then feeding millions across the week. Now that for me is quite exciting, yeah. You can imagine as soon as you get your first launch on a shelf, you go into the supermarket, you see this on it and you literally watch people come and pick it up, put it in their basket. I mean, this is like, for a chef, it's, it's a bit of a holy grail, I think. So a lot of my work revolves around research. So I'm constantly looking at what's happening around the world in terms of food trends, what consumers are eating, what's happening in restaurants, street food, really trying to take in those experiences in different environments to then understand what will be suitable for us to translate into foods. We're really trying to create those satiating flavours that people go back to time and time again. You know when you pick up a crisp you pop it in and you go, oh I've got to have another one. So this new concept that we're going to launch into Spain, it's in conjunction with a very famous chef called Kiki da Costa. Uh, Kiki da Costa has a really good reputation within Spain and not only just in Spain but throughout the world. And we've really looked at how we can bring his expertise with our expertise and come together to create these three new flavours that we're just about to launch into the Spanish market. Food is a very common language, it doesn't matter where you go in the world, everybody revolves around food, they enjoy food. The ability to be able to go and travel and see new things, experience new things, and just being at the forefront of that is probably the most exciting part of my role. When we're identifying these ingredients or these cuisine trends or these cooking techniques, ultimately we've got to remember that because we see it as a trend doesn't necessarily mean that the average consumer is ready to take on that trend. And the challenge really is looking at when would be the right time for us to start thinking about how we're going to launch something like that. The, the route into this industry is quite varied. You could come in as a junior chef and then you can learn different facets of that business and then you can move into other areas. I started in, in development working in chilled food manufacturing, so across convenience foods for most of the major retailers. I then went into the flavour industry, so working for one of our key seasoning suppliers and then I really started to learn about the science of food. Sometimes it's difficult to get information about this particular role without speaking to somebody that's in it. I would say if you you know if you're looking to get into this role have a look at some particular chefs within that sphere of development, um, R&D, just reach out to them. Food manufacturing in general it's a really good area to be in. It's, it's a massive growth area and you think everybody has to eat so the opportunities are pretty endless. If I had to sum up being an R&D chef in three words, I would say engaging, rewarding, and rapid. <laughs>